So I just want to take this opportunity to point out that Tom Cruise is 56 years old. <laughs> 56. That's right. And the things that he does in this movie are incredible for anybody of any age, but especially for a man who is 56 years old. <laughs> Heck, the running part. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to Drawing Conclusions. I'm Jessica. And I'm Josh. And today we are reviewing Mission Impossible Fallout, the sixth movie in the Mission Impossible franchise, which got started when? 1996, I think, was the... I think so. When the original Mission Impossible was released. So, Josh, tell me, what did you like about this movie? I like the action. Uh, and, you know, I'll, I like the story, too. I thought it was pretty cool. Um... The acting was, you know, really good. The cast, it's uh, the same crew from the last few movies, and they work well together. Yeah. And no hang-ups, no like, ooh, what about this guy? And for the most part, Henry Cavill did a, a pretty good job. Um, but I, I don't know, there were so many things about this show that I, I really liked. The chases, the fight scenes, the, the stunts, oh my goodness. And the cinematography and locations that they filmed in were really awesome and really well displayed. Yeah. How about yourself? Um, I there, I liked a lot of the same things that you did. I think that the action was really great. There were a couple of scenes that for me went on a little too long, but for the most part the action was great. And one of the things that impresses me about this franchise is how they keep coming up with new yeah. <laughs> things to do action-wise. And I think that's, there's a lot of creativity in, in the scenes and the way that they do them. Um, I really liked um, the performances. I especially liked Vanessa Kirby. As um, the White Widow, I yeah. really loved her performance um, and enjoyed that a lot. I liked the story. I think, you know, Mission Impossible does have um, typically some um, strong plot lines. I think that the plot yeah. lines are pretty good for action movies. You know, they're not, they're definitely um, a little bit more, um, a little smarter than some action movies in terms of plot and what yeah. they expect out of Their the audience, viewer. Yeah. yeah. So I appreciate that about the franchise in general, and I think that this movie... You definitely have to pay attention. Yeah. There were some things I didn't like about the movie, but um, I think one of those things does have to do with um, just kind of the fact that this is the sixth Mission Impossible movie, and so I feel like there are some plot points that they keep going back to over and over again throughout the franchise that um, maybe are starting to feel a little bit tired since this is the sixth movie. Yeah, getting a little thin. Was there anything that you didn't like about the movie? Mm, I guess in hindsight, the uh, overall length, it uh, I didn't notice it so much when I was watching the movie, but after it was over, I was like, man, that was like <laughs> two and a half hours plus. Yeah. It was uh, kind of grueling there, but all in all, like, it wasn't a lot really to complain about. I think uh, just for me, the length. Yeah. I think it did go a little long, and you know, not that that was a bad thing, because it wasn't. You know, I don't know, it didn't feel empty like other movies I've watched that were long, that were action movies where it just felt like, okay, come on, time to wrap it up. You weren't bored. Yeah, I wasn't bored, and so that that's a plus. But you know, it is. I mean, watching it again, it have to really think about it. It's like, man, that's, that's going to be a lot of chunk of time to uh, devote to the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so for me, I did feel the length of it. The last 20 or 30 minutes or right. so, I was like, this is a very long movie. So I feel like there are some things that they could have trimmed up in the movie sure. so that it was not so long. I did feel like it was a little... Um, and it's funny because it's mostly... None of it really had to do with the story, like trimming any of that stuff out. It really was some of the action sequences. I felt like some of the action sequences went on just a little bit too long and there might have been too many of them too yeah and that there may be a, it was maybe a little too action heavy not everything was completely necessary so i think that there is some some tightening up that they could have done in that respect i feel like this was more action heavy actually than a lot of the other mission impossible yes. movies and um and the other thing that i felt was one of the weaker parts of the movie was actually henry cavill hmm. Um, all of the other performances were so good that his stood out to me as being kind of uneven. He's not, it wasn't a terrible performance by any means, right. but I felt like it was inconsistent. I, he wasn't always consistently awesome. 
And um, actually, but that's how I had felt about him pretty much in almost every movie that I've watched with him, which is not that many. But right, <laughs> right, right. But that sometimes, like, there are scenes where I'm totally buying it, and I think he's doing a really good job. And then there are scenes where I'm like, eh, yeah. you know. So. Um, and so it's a little forced. Right. Yeah. Um, but otherwise, you know, I mean, Tom Cruise. If you like Tom Cruise, you'll like this movie. You know, he does a good job as Ethan Hunt. He's really. Um, well connected to this character after six movies and yeah he should be too yeah <laughs> yeah and uh, and he definitely you know brings his Tom Cruise mega star you know quality qualities to yeah. this role yeah I mean he just I don't know that guy's just movies are entertaining and yeah. I find with the exception of Mission Impossible two I think I probably like just about every movie I've seen him do and. I've seen a lot of them since, you know, his early days of, like, being in The Outsiders. Right. <laughs> Top Gun or, geez, any of those other old shows from the 80s. And, you know, he's just, I don't know. It, he doesn't seem to age. I mean, there's scenes where he's just sprinting flat out. And I'm quite a bit younger than him. I can't do that anymore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, oh, my goodness. How are you maintaining yourself so well? But he, he does a good job. Um mentioned it before I, I really did like the locations that they filmed yeah. here I mean it's just like other movies really miss opportunities when they film and right we just like, were talking about that with our Mamma Mia trailer last week right and uh, like for instance in this one they do film in Paris and London and in some mountain regions and they, they really do show it off and it looks awesome and it just almost like makes like the settings like a, a character in the show right and other films like you said Mamma Mia too, they really just kind of miss it Right, and what's interesting about Mamma Mia too is like it should be a character because that's like okay. so much a big part of the story is like oh she's still in love with Greece and it's like you hardly even see it. Right. Whereas this one, it's like, you know, the action really could take place almost anywhere. Yeah. You know, because it's an international spy thriller, so they could pick any location really. Right. right. But they did use, like you said, the setting, especially to me in Paris. Yes. With how they just showed off the city mm -hmm. during the scenes when the, the time in the movie when they were there. It was beautiful, yeah, and it, it really gave you a sense of the character of of the country and of that city, and I really appreciated that about this film. Yeah, you got really got the feel of it. I mean, it was cool. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I really, really liked that part of it. Um, anything else? No, that's it. So, <laughs> I I gave this movie uh, in our spoiler review on Patreon. Four and a half stars. I really did enjoy it. I mean, aside from the length, I thought the story was really good. I thought the acting was really good. Uh, and, of course, the action sequences were just spot on. So that was how it was for me. I enjoyed this one. Probably uh, my second favorite behind the original uh, Mission Impossible. Yeah, so for me, I didn't love it quite as much as Josh. It's still a really solid outing, and it's enjoyable. And if you like action movies, you like the Mission Impossible franchise, you like Tom Cruise, you will not be disappointed in this movie. It is well worth a watch, and especially it's worth seeing in the theater because the of theater. Um, just the spectacle and the kind of epicness yep. of the film. But for me, it's more of a three and a half, which is by no means a bad score, but it's not a four and a half. You know, this isn't like one of my all-time favorite movies. This is just a good, solid outing. And it's not um, probably my second favorite Mission Impossible either. Mm -hmm. I, I really enjoy some of the other uh, movies in the franchise a bit more. The first, third, and fourth in particular, I, I enjoy. Oh, you know what we didn't mention is Sean Harris. Sean Harris. Yeah, Sean Harris was really good. He comes back. He's back from Mission Impossible 5, and he's just, wow, is he good at playing a bad guy. <laughs> yeah, he does a really good job playing the villain. So, and Josh, I really love what you did with the artwork with this one. I think it's really cool, and uh, and kind of captures some of the spirit of some of the uh, posters, even some of the original posters that yeah. they did had for the first Mission Impossible. So, I wanted to do something that was more uh, graphic designy for this one. It just seemed like it fit. So that's it for drawing conclusions. Thanks so much for joining us. Um, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to look us up on Patreon. Yeah, you can find the link to our Patreon page down below, and there you can get access to all kinds of exclusive content that you can't get anywhere else. Thanks.